Breaking science proves aliens won't look anything like us, and the reason is mind-blowing. Everything Hollywood taught us about extraterrestrial life is completely wrong. Real aliens would be unrecognizable compared to the humanoid creatures we see in movies and TV shows. Evolution is the key factor here. Just like Earth's creatures adapted to survive in different environments, alien life would evolve based on their home planet's conditions. Think about it. On a pitch-black planet, aliens wouldn't need eyes at all. They'd develop completely different senses to navigate their dark world. On a freezing planet, aliens might have ultra-thick skin or dense fur coats. While on scorching hot worlds, they could evolve heat-resistant bodies we can't even imagine. The conditions of their planet would literally shape every aspect of their biology. This means, when we finally discover alien life, we probably won't even recognize it as life at first. It could be so different from anything we know that our human minds might struggle to process what we're seeing. So next time you think about aliens, forget the classic gray figure with big eyes. The truth is way stranger than fiction. Have you ever imagined what life could have looked like on Earth if mammals, including humans, never existed? Let's hypothesize, shall we? Insects would rule the world, imagine. Massive six-legged creatures would dominate Earth if humans never existed. The hexapod body plan is incredibly efficient for locomotion and stability. Without mammals taking over after the dinosaurs, insects would have continued growing larger due to higher oxygen levels. Picture eight-foot-tall praying mantis-like predators camouflaging like trees and hunting through dense fungal forests. The sky would be filled with dragonflies sporting 15-foot wingspans using their omnidirectional movement to catch flying prey. Underground, giant isopod colonies would build vast tunnel networks, farming fungus and protecting their queen. The oceans would be ruled by massive trilobite descendants, their hard shells protecting them from the acidic waters. Without human pollution, atmospheric oxygen would be much higher, allowing arthropods to grow to incredible sizes. The world would be alien yet familiar. No fur or feathers, just chitin and compound eyes as far as you could see. Most fascinating is how these creatures would develop complex social structures, possibly even basic tool use with their multiple limbs. This alternate Earth shows us just how different life could have evolved without our ancestral branch of the Tree of Life. Extreme survival machines thrive on Mercury, and they're nothing like what sci-fi shows. Living in underground caves to escape the 800-degree surface temps, these creatures evolved transparent silicon-based bodies that can withstand crushing pressure. Their crystalline structure allows them to absorb solar radiation directly for energy, no food needed. With magnetic sensory organs, they detect incoming solar storms hours before they hit. The most fascinating part? They communicate through vibrations in Mercury's metallic core, basically using the whole planet as a giant telephone. When the surface temperature drops to minus 280 degrees at night, they emerge through volcanic vents, their bodies glowing from stored solar energy. Their movement is like flowing mercury itself. They don't walk or crawl. They ripple across the crater-filled surface, leaving trails of crystalline structures that refract sunlight in impossible patterns. The real kicker these beings would see our carbon-based life as primitive. To them, we're just walking bags of water that can't even survive basic solar radiation. Shocking discovery, 
real Martians would actually be tiny purple bacteria. Living in Mars' harsh environment requires extreme adaptations. The intense radiation means any life would need thick protective layers. The freezing temperatures and thin atmosphere would force organisms to be microscopic to conserve energy. They'd likely use hydrogen peroxide instead of water in their cells since water freezes. Their metabolism would be incredibly slow to survive the lack of resources. No tall green aliens with big eyes. Real Martians would be simple, hardy microbes hiding in underground caves and cracks, getting energy from minerals. They'd probably be purple to protect against UV radiation, just like some extremophile bacteria we have on Earth. The most alien thing about them, they'd be able to repair their own DNA damage from cosmic rays. Sometimes the truth is stranger than science fiction. Real Martians would be almost invisible to the naked eye, but absolutely fascinating to scientists. Floating organisms are the only life forms that could survive Jupiter's crushing atmospheric pressures. These beings would be massive balloon-like creatures using hydrogen gas chambers to stay buoyant in the planet's dense atmosphere. Their bodies would be coated in metallic scales to withstand the constant lightning storms and extreme radiation. Imagine jellyfish the size of cities, but with crystalline structures that can conduct electricity to power their vital functions. They'd have multiple sensor organs spread across their surface to detect atmospheric changes and magnetic fluctuations. The most mind-blowing part is they'd likely be living batteries absorbing Jupiter's intense electrical storms for energy. Their cellular structure would be completely alien to us, using liquid metallic hydrogen instead of water as a solvent for life processes. No solid surface means no legs or arms. These creatures would propel themselves using powerful electromagnetic fields, riding Jupiter's massive storms like cosmic waves. Surviving Neptune's brutal minus 350 degree Fahrenheit storms requires alien life beyond our imagination. Picture creatures made of metallic hydrogen floating through Neptune's atmosphere using gas-filled chambers. Their bodies would be covered in thick layers of methane ice crystals, acting like natural armor against the intense atmospheric pressure. The wildest part They'd probably communicate through electromagnetic pulses since sound waves barely travel in Neptune's atmosphere. These beings would have multiple sensory organs to detect the planet's intense magnetic fields and navigate the constant dark blue storms. Their metabolism would run on liquid hydrogen instead of oxygen, letting them thrive in the most hostile conditions imaginable. No eyes needed, they'd see, using electrical impulses to detect changes in the dense atmosphere around them. Think of them as living supercomputers wrapped in metallic shells, riding supersonic winds at 1,200 miles per hour. We're looking for completely wrong aliens in the wrong places. The real ones might be right there in Neptune's blue haze, more fascinating than anything we've imagined. Aliens living on Uranus would be unlike anything we've ever imagined. The extreme conditions mean they'd have evolved into crystalline-based life forms, able to withstand temperatures of minus 224 degrees Celsius and crushing atmospheric pressures. Their bodies would be composed of metallic hydrogen structures, giving them a semi-transparent, almost glass-like appearance. They wouldn't need traditional organs, Instead, they'd have specialized chambers that process methane and hydrogen for energy. These beings would float through Uranus's thick atmosphere using gravitational manipulation organs, moving through the planet's various layers effortlessly. They'd communicate through vibrations in the methane clouds, 
creating complex patterns that ripple through the atmosphere. Their sensory system would be tuned to detect thermal variations and electromagnetic fields rather than light, since Uranus receives very little sunlight. Most fascinating is their reproductive process. They'd likely split apart during intense magnetic storms, their crystalline structures fragmenting and reforming into new beings. These creatures would be virtually immortal under their planet's conditions, only dying if they somehow reached the warmer layers of the atmosphere. Living crystals would dominate Saturn's atmosphere, thriving in the planet's liquid metallic hydrogen seas. These silicon-based organisms would form intricate geometric patterns, using the extreme pressure to crystallize and grow. Their crystalline bodies would channel Saturn's powerful electromagnetic fields, powering their life processes through direct energy absorption. Each being would pulse with bioluminescent light, creating stunning auroras as they communicate through the dense atmosphere. The organisms would extend and retract hexagonal formations to surf Saturn's high-speed winds, reaching speeds of 1,100 miles per hour. Most incredible is their ability to dissolve and reform their crystalline structure at will, allowing them to merge with others of their kind during Saturn's frequent storms. No traditional organs or biological systems these creatures would be living architecture, their entire existence based on sacred geometry and pure energy conversion. They'd make their homes in Saturn's famous rings, using ice particles as building blocks for vast crystal cities. Living on Venus would require insane adaptations that scientists never imagined possible. The surface temperature is hot enough to melt lead, with crushing atmospheric pressure 90 times Earth's and sulfuric acid rain. Any life forms would need bodies made of metal-like compounds just to survive. They'd likely be flat and low to the ground to handle the pressure, with thick metallic shells containing heat-resistant proteins. Their metabolism would use sulfur compounds instead of oxygen. No water-based life could exist. They'd need to process liquid metals or specialized chemical solutions. The most wild part, they'd probably float in the upper atmosphere where conditions are more stable, using gas-filled chambers like living balloons. Think floating metal pancakes with specialized organs that can withstand 800 plus degree heat and process toxic chemicals. The Venus we imagine in sci-fi gets it completely wrong. Real Venusian life would look more like living spacecraft than any Earth creatures we know. These beings would be so alien, we might not even recognize them as life at first. <laughs>